Yo, what up guys? Welcome to the Anime Kingdom Discussion and Review. This one is on episode 2 of Jinketsu no Maria. And so far, I'm really liking this series. It's really, like, a lot different from the normal things I usually watch. But so far, it's really good. Like, for one thing, I like history. I like stuff, you know, this war kind of thing that's going on between England and France. It's real. It's really happened kind of thing. And I like how they're adapting this, but really putting witches in. Like, in this time, there was, this is a time during when they burned witches at the stake, of course. And that's what, you know, it's pretty interesting that they're actually having real witches. And, of course, this episode pretty much showed Maria trying to save more people, protect them. Because she hates wars, of course, so stopping the war altogether. We get a little bit of comedy in the aspect of she makes an incubus. But she, that's why this thing is called uh, Maria. She's, a, you know, the virgin. Because she's never seen a male organ of penis so she couldn't make the incubus correctly incubus is a male version of a succubus pretty much and so he just has like a cloud thing and there was a bunch of comedy with him in it of course but the big thing that really got me in this episode was the whole part of uh, Mikael coming down and stopping Maria from pretty much like she's pretty much disrupting order is what he said in the fact that Maria, she, the village that she, um, you know, that um, actually likes her, or like not all of them like her, but actually some of them like her, they actually are okay with her, are getting attacked by a whole bunch of um, soldiers. And she comes to defend them because, you know, she doesn't want them. For being a witch during this time, to have people that accept you, it's a really big thing. So I would also be running there to protect them she blinds all the guys but all of a sudden Mikael comes down to stop her because and he she already, she already got a warning from him during the last part of the battle before from Mikael and she didn't care about it because and then he comes down and tells her you know she's disrupting order she can't do this to which she says you know why aren't you doing anything all these people are praying all this kind of stuff asking for your help but you're not doing anything and then he brings up the fact that he's like, oh, well, well, if you're going to help these people, why don't you help the people in the north, the south, the west, everywhere? You know, why are you only helping them? And she's like, then of course, she says, you know, you're supposed to. And of course, it's pretty much that's, you know, it's showing he's saying that this is how it is. He, they, they, they're not going to help him. And pretty much that is how humanity is. You can't. That's the rule of the world. The law of the world is not to they, you know how everything's going on they're not going to disrupt that kind of thing it's maria that's the bad thing disrupting the order so pretty much um mikhail and maria have a huge they're just she's trying to fight him of course she's losing all these way stronger he's archangel and pretty much in the end of the episode it showed joseph shooting him uh, mikhail in the back to protect maria because mikhail was going to take maria either her her powers as a witch or just I guess kill her period but in the end Joseph comes to not really say the day because he didn't stop him but that was pretty much the end of the episode and I cannot wait for the next episode to see what happens what unfolds in the next episode because Maria and Mikael is he gonna like take away her powers I don't think so obviously because that would pretty much stop the whole anime or maybe that is what's supposed to happen in this. I'm not too sure. There's going to be some type of deal that happens that somehow Maria either keeps her powers or she just loses them and she can get them back in a certain, like, somehow, some way. I'm not too sure. But, yeah, this anime is really, like, it's really interesting. Everything that's going on in this anime, it's really interesting and a lot different than I usually watch. And that's why I'm definitely going to continue watching this series and cannot wait for episode three to see what happens and, you know with Maria like seriously like there's only a second episode all of a sudden divine intervention literally comes down and stops her from doing this thing I thought she it was gonna have a couple like a bunch of episodes with her trying to stop war and stuff and then maybe something like that would happen but no you know I didn't even think this would happen I didn't think they would really literally show they showed witches but I didn't think they would show like angels and stuff they even had Valkyries and stuff, which is interesting considering it's a different, you know, religion kind of thing. Valkyries and Valhalla and everything. 
But yeah, it's this is a really interesting anime. I really like it so far. And if you guys have any questions, comment below. I want to know how you guys feel about the anime so far. What you guys feel about this episode and what everything's, you know, everything's happening. If you have anything you want to say, just comment below and we can talk about it. So, until next time, guys. See ya.